Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Come to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God, a God who's created a world around us that is truly beautiful to enjoy. Our word of encouragement today comes from Psalms 127, starting at verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard in vain. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those he loves. You know, it really is true. If we want to have God's blessing, we have to start with God. Everything else is in vain. In reality, our lives are in vain if we're not serving God. We're born, we live our life, we, you know, we grow up. Uh, if you know, God blesses us that way, or we choose to, we get married and have kids and, and go through this whole thing. Eventually, we retire, uh, and then we get older, and we pass away. And of course, I know that doesn't happen for everybody, but that's kind of the standard expectation of life. And yet, what does it all mean? What do we leave behind? Well, honestly, not too much. I mean, if you've discovered something or done something great for society, maybe your name is remembered. But really, the only thing that counts is service to God. This world is built on service to God. Everything else is in vain. Today, I want to encourage you to continue to serve God. I know the world can be tough out there. I know at times it's easy to kind of slip away. But let's draw near to God today. Let's choose to, serve, choose to serve him in everything we do. Let's let's try to make a purpose or a point if, if everything we do. It doesn't matter if we're young or it doesn't matter if we're older. Uh, we can serve God in his glory and it will not be in vain. Praise God for that. God has a purpose for you today, so be encouraged. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, for creating us with a purpose. Thank you, O Lord, for your purposes that are not in vain. Help us, O God, to focus on what you would have us focus on. Help us, O God, to, to do your will and to to act out from your spirit. May your spirit lead and guide everything we do today. And may we be a blessing to everyone we come in contact with. Father, watch over and protect us and keep us safe in all that we do. And be with those who are hurting today. Be with those who are uh, facing diseases like cancer or, or things like that. Be with those who are fighting the virus today, uh, the epidemic that's going on. Be with those who are struggling financially today and those who are struggling emotionally. Uh, and even those, especially those who are struggling spiritually, may you draw them close to your heart. Father, help us to, to be a part of your kingdom that helps grow your kingdom as you work in our lives. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God wants to use you, and the work you do for God is not in vain. Praise God for that. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.